Tesla price cuts. It seems Elon Musk had a calculated plan all along. Some analysts claimed that Elon Musk and Tesla's sweeping price reductions were a sign of weak demand. However, new data approaching the end of the first quarter shows how the move has actually boosted the automaker's market share in a few key markets around the world. Recent data from the European Union show that Tesla's registrations are on the rise across the continent, with the US automaker growing faster in the market in February than any other automaker, via Barron's. Tesla sold 19,249 units in February, up from just 12,860 during the same month last year and before the automaker officially opened its German Gigafactory. Additionally, Tesla saw a market share increase amongst battery electric vehicles in China and exported from the country in the first two months of the year, as shown in recent data from the China Passenger Car Association. All in all, it appears that Tesla's price cuts have done anything but show the automaker's weakness. In fact, most markets seem to indicate the benefits of the price reductions. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas also noted in recent weeks that a number of factors have had a positive impact on Tesla and Musk's strategy and outlook. Jonas considers Tesla the industry's cost leader, and predicts that Musk's company will continue to lead on pricing. Currently, Jonas has a U2018 buy rating on Tesla's stock with a $220 price target. EV price cuts are not a fad, but a trend, Jonas said. He went on to describe them as a deflationary trend, citing factors including lowered costs on batteries and lithium, as well as improved manufacturing efficiency. At the time of writing, Tesla's shares are trading for $191.90. 9 cents, up 0.05% in trading hours on Monday. Tesla's move toward cheaper cars is not a brand new development, and it in fact has been a part of Musk's strategy for the automaker since at least 2006 when he penned the company's first master plan. In it, Musk wrote how the company planned to build and sell an expensive car, then use the profits to build a cheaper car, then use the profits from that car to build an even cheaper car, and so on and so forth. With Tesla's plans for a new gigafactory in Mexico and a next-generation vehicle platform, Musk is hoping to even further drive down the cost of manufacturing. As Tesla begins construction on the plant in the coming months, shareholders may be able to expect a more affordable electric vehicle in the next several years. Marking off yet another generation of cars from Musk's 2006 master plan. Source. Reposted and summarized from Evanex at Inside EVS. My take. Don't bet against Elon, he is the man. Tesla to expand IT facility install new automation equipment at Fremont. Tesla will expand the information technology IT building and install new automation equipment on production lines at the Fremont factory, filings show. Tesla filed to expand the IT buildings on the north end of the Fremont factory property on Wednesday. The $1.5 million project will make the IT building larger and also upgrade the facility, according to filings with the city of Fremont. Additionally, Tesla will make improvements to the production lines at the Fremont factory by installing new Mino automation equipment. Mino is a China-based company that provides intelligent manufacturing solutions within the automotive industry. Tesla has been using Mino equipment for years, but it has also worked with companies like Ford, Geely, Volkswagen, and General Motors since 2008. Tesla has relied on automation for portions of the manufacturing lines at all of its factories for some time. Most automakers do, but Tesla has placed an emphasis on it for years and, at one point, relied so heavily on it that CEO Elon Musk said the company overlooked the importance of humans on production lines. The company recently installed automation equipment to ensure higher production quality on vehicles.
The automatic inspection system will ensure that vehicles have a proper fit and finish before making their way to customers for deliveries. Rumors of the Fremont factory expansion started to swirl last year, as it appeared Tesla was installing new concrete pads for potential growth in manufacturing space. Filings also showed that Tesla was planning to at least add more room for production equipment to supplement the demand for its vehicles. Tesla hasn't made any considerable changes to the landscape of the Fremont factory since these filings. Recent drone footage shows that the automaker is more focused on supplementing production at the plant to support the end-of-quarter push that has been going on for the past several weeks. Tesla purchased the Fremont factory in 2010, and is the only plant to build all four of its currently manufactured vehicles. Source Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. My take. Tesla keeps on getting bigger and better every day, and in every way. Tesla officially starts deliveries of the refreshed Model S and X in China. Tesla has officially started deliveries of the refreshed Model S and Model X to mainland China. Customers have been waiting for the cars to arrive for almost two years and are happy to accept a delivery even earlier than Tesla originally planned. Tesla officially began deliveries of the refreshed Model S and Model X to the Chinese market on March 28. On this day, the first customers received the long-awaited cars, which was a very happy event. It only became known on March 27 that the special, long-awaited cars had reached the shores of China, which Tesla shared via its Twitter account. Initially, the delivery date was set for Q2 2023, but the company has very pleasantly surprised its customers. First deliveries of 2023 Model S and Model X in China's mainland, congratulations to new Tesla owners. Tesla Asia Tesla Asia March 29, 2023 the interiors of the refreshed Model S and Model X feature a completely new design and a uniquely shaped yoke steering wheel. An LCD instrument panel and a 17-inch horizontal central control screen give the interior an advanced look. The air conditioning vents in the car are also designed to be hidden, making the interior neater and more elegant. The car is equipped with a high-quality audio system with 22 speakers and a power output of up to 960 watts, which can achieve an effect similar to that of a live music performance. The Tesla Model S and Model X Plaid feature a three-motor powertrain with up to 1,020 horsepower. Tesla Model S is available in China in two versions. A basic version with two motors and a Plaid version with three motors. Model S starts at RMB 789,900, about $114,730 and Model S Plaid starts at RMB 1,009,900, about $146,680. Model X is also available in China in two versions. A basic version with two motors and a Plaid version with three motors. Model X starts at RMB 879,900, about $127,800, and Model X Plaid starts at RMB 1,039,900, about $151,030. Copyright 2023. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take. China is really going well for Tesla right now. They are going to love the refreshed cars. Tesla Giga Mexico may consume the least water of any car factory in the world. Tesla Giga Mexico will be the world's lowest water-consuming car factory, says a Mexican official. The details are still unknown but it seems. Tesla has already developed solutions that will achieve this. On Tuesday, Mexican Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard, along with a 14-person delegation, visited the site where Tesla Giga Mexico will be built. The official shared a video filmed on the spot via Sawyer Merritt Twitter.
It is noteworthy that the caption to the video states that the Tesla factory will become the world's lowest water-consuming car factory. Panoramic view of the property where Tesla will build the automotive factory with the lowest water consumption in the world, the minister wrote. Panora. Mica del Predio and LK Tesla Construira. La planta automotriz con menor consumo de agua del mundo. Marcelo Eberd C. M. Eberd March 28, 2023. In addition to the video, Eberd shared several photos. They show that the governor of Nuevo Leon, Samuel Alejandro Garcia Sepulveda, was also part of the group that visited the site. The delegation arrived in three Tesla cars, which underlines their joy and enthusiasm for Teslas. Arrival in the state Mexican Foreign Secretary and the Governor of Nuevo Leo. N. Touring the Telsa Giga Mexico property location in a Model X they also met with some Tesla team members on site. Sawyer Merritt Sawyer Merritt March 28, 2023 According to data from chemical multinational DuPont, via Benzinga, the automotive industry uses almost 40,000 gallons of water to produce one car. According to them, water is used in almost every step of car manufacturing. Nuevo Leon is a water-scarce state. However, for several years now, Tesla has been working on a solution to the problem of not having enough water to use in. Production For the first time, the company had a serious problem with the water supply at Giga Berlin. This prompted the company to look for effective solutions that would provide it with the necessary amount of water, even in conditions of very limited supply. In Germany, the company has already said several times that it has found a way to significantly save water consumption. Apparently, the new technology will also be applied at Giga Mexico. Manuel Salas Flores, CEO of Mexican water engineering firm Cipro, suggests that the manufacturer's plan is likely to include three familiar water solutions. One of them involves the use of reused water, treated water, or treated wastewater. The second suggests that Tesla is looking to optimize all vehicle manufacturing processes to minimize water use. The third assumes that the company will recycle all the water it uses. Source Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take. When Tesla puts their mind to it, they are always the best.